Hi, my name is Neil Cashman. I am a professor and Canada Research Chair in the Department of Medicine, Division of Neurology at University of British Columbia. My laboratory work is centered at the Center for Brain Health here in UBC Hospital. Well, how long I've been in ALS research is um, 30 years. When I was a neurology resident at the University of Chicago, I became attached to the ALS clinic, uh, both uh, organizationally and uh, emotionally. Uh, for me, it was the picture of somebody with usually perfect cognition experiencing this disintegration of function, this uh, spreading paralysis, uh, the tragedy that that was, how unfair it was, uh, and the effects of ALS on an individual, on his or her family, on his or her community. Uh, when I experienced that, when I witnessed it, I couldn't think of anything else that I really wanted to solve in my research life. At this point, the Cashman Lab houses uh, 26 people, and that's uh, divided into um, senior people, research associates, uh, research assistants like technicians, uh, several postdoctoral fellows, uh, several PhD students, uh, and also undergraduate students. So my research has come quite a long way over the past 30 years, but over the past 10 years it's been focused on a mechanism called propagated protein misfolding. And I know that sounds complicated, but the idea is a simple one. Uh, if one protein misfolds, it's able to trigger the misfolding of a neighboring protein. So um, instead of going into the structural biology details, it's kind of like a uh, chain of dominoes. So if one domino falls, the whole line can fall. And that's what we're working on with several proteins. Uh, and we are trying to use this domino simile uh, to put our hand in the chain of dominoes and to stop the process from progressing. We're working with antibody treatments of ALS and drug-like treatments of ALS, both of which can arrest the propagation, the falling of dominoes. Uh, at a stage when uh, ALS may have just presented. If we understand the molecular process of ALS progression, then we could potentially stop it in its tracks with a therapeutic. There is no question that donor dollars through ALS Canada have helped us. For this, I'm extremely grateful. I want to provide my sincerest gratitude to the donors that make my operation possible and the work of ALS researchers across Canada.